on here. We are on here. We are eleven. Johnny Cage to get my Johnny Cage play a little bit cleaner. Miss the hop. I saw a lot of great. Let's well, see, watching watching Final Combat taught me a lot of things. I saw a lot of high level Johnny Cage players, and I've been inspired to start using them. I made I made the Johnny back in MK9. Only mess with him casually in MKX because they slowed him down. A lot. Corner game impressive. Nut crush in the down two. In the down two. Might be the best fatality in the game. I believe I've said this before multiple times on a stream. Johnny Cage, who hired this guy, is the best fatality in the game. Until Spawn comes out. Because if you saw his fatality, oh my god. Just downloaded another game to stream tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow I will be streaming Terminator Resistance. Now it's been a while since I've played a decent Terminator game. So I'm hoping this one is. Working with the D-pad to minimize amount of jump in. the FB I really wish that I knew how to cancel out of that because, because I know you can see the thing about me the thing about me getting involved in the FGC is I have to learn I have to learn I'm a perfectionist, and I need to learn to have uh, a, li a limited uh, state of memory. If I lose some, if I lose a match, I need to not let it get in my head. I see. I need to not let it get in my head, and I need to have just that warrior mentality to get up and try again. And yes, I'm a man that likes to defy the odds, but also I need to realize that there are going to be things 
that I cannot do as a fighter. I, uh, I can't. Right now, without the use of a hitbox, um, or something like that, I can't do a move that requires meter. I can't, I can't do a move, a move that requires meter. I can't do, um, I used to think I couldn't block, but thanks to Perfect Legend, I learned that I can change my controller config and I didn't need flip sense. Um, Right there is when, right there was when I should have blocked low and she brought out the bug. Yeah. I love Johnny, he's just so off the wall in terms of what he can do. Love his throw. Really love everything about this character. Decent power. Hella speed. Um, projectiles. Ways to get inside on, on zoners. Um, really just a great all-around character that's why when I did my MK11 tier list he was at the very top S tier because I feel like you can get in with a lot of different things micro crouches micro dashes neutral hops are, are a very big part of his game I don't know why I just went for a grab there. Make me pay for it. Me in the shadow.
And with Johnny, I believe you can pretty much make up your entire offense. Um, there's no, there's no set blueprint on how to play him. He's a freestyle character. You can pretty much play him your way. And feel comfortable. Stop jumping, stop jump. Oh, why? Mortal Kombat settling disputes since 1992. Um, no, but um, as I was saying about Johnny's game, you can model your own offense off of what he can do. There's no set blueprint. He's not like a Garrus where you 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 basically have. Garrus' blueprint. He's very much a keep away teleport style character. Um, See now, even though Satrion got a couple of projectiles off on me there, I was able to stay in close and disrupt her game enough. She's not really able to get that many projectiles all become too close. It's very much like actual fighting when you're when you're fighting against a taller fighter your goal is to get inside and mess with their ability to um, throw punches or, or, or kicks. Um, it's tougher to do that because you as the other fighter are so in close to them. It's very tough to get inside to for the taller fighter to find their range and maximize the damage. Liu Kang poses a very interesting matchup because he can match me in speed and he can match me in projectile. Okay. So with Lou, 
With Lou, it's very different. Lou is very fast, and he's able to convert on a lot of things, just like that. needed to do that because I now I now I know what his game plan is and I like well block never let go of block I wanted to get out of that variation anyhow. We're still sticking with Johnny. But I do want to go with another variation. Just so I can show you what Johnny can do when he's got projectiles at his disposal. See, now this variation I made for him. Um called a director's cut high damage very very rushed down there's only one projectile in the whole thing and that's going to be the one that I showcase for the last time tonight tonight cuz I am I just ran into a brick wall when it came to tiredness Cassie is very tough to get a handle on. With her, she's another one you wanna. Staying close, keep the action tight because once she finds her range and is able to zone you out, she will do that for the entire match. before she was able to do the interactable.
I'll do a couple more fights and then get going for the night. This is late where I am. Cabal's another one whose speed can be neutral, neutralized by staying in close. Alright guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope my tips were useful for you and they were able to help you. Anyway y'all, y'all take care, stay safe, be good to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.